Everyone at Woodhill College was obsessed with rugby. And I didn't hate rugby, but what happened if you didn't love it? The reason I wanted to make Handsome Devil in 2017 was because although it springs from a memory in the sense that I'm gay and I'm very into sport and was always kind of good at sport and felt that I had to make a choice in one direction or the other, that issue is still alive in 2017. There isn't an out Premiership soccer player, there isn't a professional rugby union player playing at the top level who's gay and that seems to suggest to me that that is still a choice that people feel they have to make. And Having made the film and showed it to schools and transition year students, it's been really gratifying to have them come down afterwards and go, God, that's, you basically made a film about my school. Why are you hanging out with that freak Ned? Tell them, Connor. <laughs> you afraid to be hit? Oh. <laughs> From now on, men, it's a war zone and you're in the army. Rarely you kind of, you get a script and you read it and, um, and, and straight away you're like, God, I'd, I'd love to, to play this character and you just kind of understand it straight away and that's it was actually kind of one of the first times that it happened to me when I read John's script I you know grew up um, in the same kind of world as Ned um, so yeah as, as soon as I read it I, I, I really wanted to, to be involved. Suddenly dad married Natalie they were living in Dubai and I was in boarding school in the middle of nowhere a school where rugby was a religion. That was one thing that I, that I think is great uh, about it as well is that it's kind of timeless and I think you can watch it you know being reflective on your time in school or you can watch it and go god that's exactly what it's like in school now and I think that's what happened with a lot of kind of this, the, the school um, or the students that, that we've shown it to you so far. 16 is your actual age which is why the idea of us letting you leave school is absurd. So you're pretty much sending me to jail? Prisoners make an effort to fit in. It's easy for, you know, me metropolitan people living in a city in, you know, and we're in our adult years now, and it's easy to think that everything's okay. And obviously, marriage equality passed just over a year ago, and so, you know, there are very good news stories and things are changing, but it's still hellish for kids who are LGBT who are growing up in, in this country, and I, j I think it's important to remember that and not feel that just because one's own experience is kind of cushioned by all this stuff around us. You know, it's important to remember that it's not the case for everybody and that things can be really rough, you know. And kind of the message of the film is, you know, of course it gets better, but it shouldn't have to get better later, you know. This is something that needs to be dealt with when people are young enough to really feel the pain of it, you know. And although it's a comedy film, there is a, that, that is a point that ought to be made in there somewhere. Sometimes I just feel like a robot, doing this again and again. <laughs> a little more <laughs> to life than... I'd like them to laugh is first and foremost and that's nothing is more important to me than that. The world is a ridiculous place and uh, hopefully this film reflects that in some way. And then kind of beyond that I think just um, maybe for people to recognise the value of teachers and the, um, and the difficulty that they have in being themselves and how the Sometimes our schools and our country doesn't support this idea of individuality as much as it ought to. And that also applies, obviously, to young people as well. Nothing is more important than claiming your own identity. And I think if we made that a kind of a, a mission at schools level, I think the world would be a good place. Stop! Stop! You spend your whole life being someone else. Who's going to be you? One thing that would be really nice if the, you know, people could watch it and completely relate it back to their own uh, school times and, and and that people can see that it's timeless and it's not just a certain type of person who can go and see it and, and enjoy it as people of all ages. Everyone who's ever been young, so that's everyone ever, knows just what humiliation feels like. Reveal to me who you are, you dare! Ah! We were friends, and I wasn't gonna give that up without a fight.